You want a slick arsed sea viper or a cabbaged mouth castaway? State your business with the crew of the Prowler. The hurricane killed hundreds of marines. Why does it matter if one of them died in the cave? Oh. Well, the Prowler is like a hen in the wolf den until she's seaworthy again. Maybe your marines can prove they're more than two-legged cargo and shiny armor. If they pitch in, I'll consider reinforcements. Are they up for it? Or are they all talk? And I'm sure they'll be as useful as they were in the hurricane. Should they care to prove otherwise, they're welcome to do actual work patching leaks in the Prowler's hold. Maybe they can locate the replacement helmsman's wheel in all this wreckage. Oh, and our Sun Sighter. It must have fallen overboard when we beached. Our lookout saw those skink-fingered pirates make off with it. You'll have to get the Sun Sighter back, any way you can. These aren't Dominion sailors. They're privateers. Just our luck. We'll show that old sea cat what Dominion Marines can do. It was fast. All right. There's room on the prowler for your marine friends, as long as they work for their meals. I said I'd consider it. Captain Jimela is the only one who can make that call. Something you'll want to hear. You just made the prowler seaworthy, and Captain Jimela always pays her debts. Go talk to her. 
She only bites if you give her good reason. Due to your efforts, the Prowler is free to sail once the tide comes in. Those Marines did their part as well. I have no reinforcements, but I offer something better. I know who's killing the Dominion soldiers, and I know how to stop it. Our lookout watched the Sea Vipers drag a Dominion Marine into a cave. Later, he saw your friends remove the Marine's body. If we weren't so short-handed, I'd have ordered his rescue. But three of my own crew were missing. Before we understood the danger, I sent my crew to scavenge among the shoals so we might repair the Prowler. We thought they disappeared, but one just returned, and she tells a harrowing tale. The Sea Vipers happened. Now there's a new storm brewing, and I fear they're the cause of it. Mustangui recovers below. Hear what she has to say for yourself. Vipers are insane! They're trying to create another hurricane! Sir Verkvild and I were scavenging for a replacement helmsman's wheel when the Sea Vipers ambushed us. They brought us to the island with the beached Dominion flagship. They'd done things there. Terrible things. Those filthy Maormer dragged my mates up and tied them to these serpent-shaped statues. Then they started chanting and lightning surrounded them. That's when the storm began to form around the island. Yes, I'm sure of it. It was a terrible sight. The sea vipers were so caught up in the ritual, I slipped free. I tried to grab Sir, but the lightning held him fast. Then one of the sea vipers yanked at him. I saw the Maormur's wrist glow. The Maormur wore lodestones on their wrists. It let them ignore those lightning bombs, but I couldn't find any more. So I jumped off the ship and swam for it. Please, don't let them sacrifice my crewmates.
Sir and Workfield return just after the sky is cleared up. They're a bit damp, but otherwise all right. My lookout says I have you to thank. Then we'll finish repairs and shove off at high tide. Oh, your marine friends fended off sea vipers while you rescued my crew. They're welcome aboard, as long as they want. Perhaps we'll see you at Mistral. You'll always have a place on the Prowler. Father, my father burns in the fire. My brother missing. Srendar show mercy. Our moon sugar storehouse has caught fire. Father thought to save our livelihood. He ran inside, and the burns weren't bad, but the sweet smoke ruined his lungs. Without powerful medicine, he won't last the day. Father tried to save our alchemical tools. If they survive the fire, I could trade them for medicine. Please, it's all I can do to keep my father alive. This one begs you to salvage the tools from our storehouses. Please return quickly with the tools. If I can't trade them for medicine, this one's father will die. I've seen you around the island before. In the name of Thalmor, what's your business here? Ah, the shipwreck. Worst hurricane I've seen in decades. If you're headed through this plantation, watch your step. Last night some buildings caught fire. Usually the skeevers keep to themselves, but they're acting up something fierce. I should get back to our inspection. If you see anything suspicious, it's your duty to let us know. Fires don't start themselves. Saw him on the way in. We gave his daughter some medical supplies, but he looks bad.
Shoo! Get off my family's land. If you plan to loot my family's plantation, I will give you such a thrashing. Too late, sugar thief. The fire destroyed every last calcinator. Wait, I expected my sister to check on the tools herself. Why did she send a stranger? You lie! My father left yesterday to trade in Mistral, didn't he? Oh no. I set the fires to destroy those damn tools, not to hurt anyone. Not to hurt my father. We lost our last harvest to the Thunderbugs, despite the debt. Asbira bought alchemical tools to improve our crop, she said. But last week, I caught her brewing skooma. That vile drug destroys lives. When she refused to stop, I knew what must be done. My sister despises sand under her claws. But recently, I saw her digging out on the beach. Why else would she be out there, if not to bury skooma? I should go to my father. Would you look for any skooma hidden on the beach? I'll destroy it. With the money we spent to rebuild, it will be like the skooma never happened. I'd rather debt collectors pound at our door than skooma dealers. Damn my eyes! Father should have been in Mistral. My sister placed colorful seashells near whatever she buried. I bet there is a sack full of skooma vials next to them. I'll be with my father. If you find anything, bring it back to me. I should really go check on my father. Away. The cross tree bandits won't stand for competition. Walk away. The cross tree bandits won't stand for competition.
You there. Come here. I asked around. Nobody from the shipwreck remembers seeing you before Eagle Strand. No more lies. You're running schooner, aren't you? That farmer shook himself to death. You think I don't recognize a schooner overdose when I see one? That I don't know why skeevers are frothing at the mouth? I should arrest the lot of you. Buying time to get your story straight. Go ahead, I'll be right over here. One morning, my ears are as sharp as my dagger. I'll prove it to you. My father is dead, and now this Dominion outsider wants to throw me in prison. They say they found evidence of skooma in the storehouses, but that is impossible. Then, Officer Lorin found nothing in the storehouses but suspicion. She's bluffing. What will you tell her? What's right is allowing us to recover from tragedy, not suffer more of it. Please make this right. All right, you've had enough time. Where's the skooma? Last chance. If someone doesn't tell me where the skooma is, you'll all face the consequences. Yes, well, it's my job to ask questions. Perhaps moon sugar fumes can cause the skooma shakes. Maybe I see skooma where it isn't, sometimes. I'll leave them to their grief. Soldier, look after these people. Once they're settled, report back to Mistral. Thank you. Serendar himself would commend your actions. Give me the skooma so I can destroy it. I want to finish what I started. Thank you. I'll destroy this immediately. My sister is all I have left. We'll learn to forgive each other. We have to, if we are going to rebuild. This poison causes nothing but pain! <laughs> Please, a moment. Please, I need your help. My master's life is in danger. I'm part of an expedition from Eagle Strand. While we explored the Temple of the Morning Springs, the dead began to rise. The others fled, but my master never emerged. Aurelian taught me to know when I should ask for help. Well, I'm asking. Two magical wards seal the temple, marked by emblems of a scorpion and a spider. If you can keep the undead away while I disrupt the wards, we can search for Aurelian together. How about it? I have no doubt Aurelian can protect himself. But if he's trapped inside, we need to get him out. Such intricate stitching. Turn back. You aren't welcome here. I'm whatever I wish to be. I change bodies like high elves change clothes. Though the corpses in this temple limit my wardrobe. What does it matter to you? Why do you trespass? Ah, the name for my newest outfit. His flesh sags a bit, though the power in his bones reminds me of my youth. And the robes. I'd forgotten the feel of silk upon newly won flesh. Set foot in this temple and see for yourself. Such commendable posture. I could definitely wear you in the autumn. As for Rorelian, he's fit for display under full moons or new. I tire of this. Leave or die. It matters not. That can't be good. We need to get those wards down fast.
I'll bind your wounds. Scorpion's poison courses through its prey. Spider weaves the web Watch around its dead. prey. I'll disrupt the ward. The cycle of the two moons seems to be the key to dispersing the barrier. Two moons seems to be the key to dispersing the barrier. <laughs> barrier is down. Oh, but before we proceed, I need to speak with you. When we entered the temple, that skeleton made it sound as though Aurelian was in grave danger. I won't let vague threats keep us from my master, but Aurelian is too important to lose. Perhaps we should think before we act. The Dominion relies on Aurelian for his sound judgment. He's taught countless students the ways of Magicka, including some of the Queen's own advisors. His role in the invasion is paramount for our future success. If anything were to happen to him... Thank you. We should keep moving. We found the Morning Stone on that pedestal. Wait, that's Aurelian! What's he doing up there? Ears that large and you still don't listen. Perhaps you need a few alterations. There was a time when the sound of Aldor's voice commanded the terror of thousands. Why, I am. I'm Aldor. I see your dominion teaches you nothing of my people. I shouldn't bemoan your ignorance. You fools ended centuries of captivity when you removed the Morning Stone. Never mind that accursed blue rock. I'm about to restore my wardrobe to its full glory. Behold this Rorelian fellow. Such vibrancy. I could use more like him, but one must be willing to run through a bolt of silk for the finest coat. Oh, I believe I'll keep him. At least until my summoning ritual wears him through. You see, undead are all so... beige. But I'm willing to adorn myself with hundreds of tawdry outfits in order to collect the more colorful garb at Eagle's Strand. 
<laughs> then drown in a sea of bones. <laughs> Leave Aurelian for now. We have to disrupt the summoning ritual. It'll take a moment to weaken the circle. Keep the undead away from me! One last circle. We can do this. We must do this. Go. Help my master. I'm right behind Stay you. Uldor! Get out of my body! Now! Silence! None command, Uldor! Return to your prison! Ah! That will hold me for long. You're Gathwin's ally, yes? Please disable these traps so she can make it to us safely. Despite all my knowledge, Uldor's influence over me was absolute. I'd be a little more than a puppet without your timely intervention. Oh, only my pride. But we have a more pressing matter. As Uldor sensed my thoughts, I could sense his. He plans to overwhelm and enslave Kanathi's roost with an undead horde by the next dawn! Uldor was a powerful Malmo wizard who learned to separate his spirit from his body. Even in death, he can wear hundreds of mindless forms at a time. Thankfully, I know his weakness. The Morning Stone's endless water supply tied Uldor's spirit to his body. When Eelsil removed the Morning Stone from the temple, he set Uldor free. Once again, Eelsil's sloppy methods nearly caused the death of me. These gems focus the Morning Stone's power. Uldor had me remove them from his tomb. I propose Gathwin recovers the Morning Stone from Eagle's Strand. Meanwhile, we restore Uldor's prison. <laughs> Simple enough. Master. I know what you're planning. I won't let you throw your life away. Aurelian's plan is to let Uldor possess him. They'll both be sealed in the tomb forever. But it doesn't need to be this way. Seal me inside. Aurelian is too important for the Dominion to lose. Besides, we both saw how the summoning ritual weakened my master. Please, help me convince Aurelian. I will gladly seal myself in the tomb to spare my master. Uldor is a threat to all on this island. We should hurry. Uldor won't be trapped for long. <laughs> That's madness. I've experienced so many summers. My greatest accomplishment was watching Gathwin blossom into someone who far surpassed my own deeds. No, she must recover the Morning Stone. You and I should confront Uldor. Then we should waste no more time. You can't do this, Master. The Dominion will thrive without me. It's far stronger than it knows. Then I should recover the Morning Stone. Farewell, Aurelian. I... I know, Gathwin. I know. You! 
I won't wear a poisoned outfit. I've reconsidered what our combined power can do, Aldor. I willingly give myself over. I knew such power would tempt you. Very well. Hurry! Place the tears of the two moons in the pedestals! Wretched fool! I'll turn your friend to ash! Stay away from those pedestals! alive. You worthless rag! This tomb can't hold me forever. Go quickly. I feel Uldor's weakness fade. Hurry, tell Gathwen of the plan's success. But don't mourn for me, friend. I earned a useful fate. Few can say the same. Uldor will sustain me. Better living form than a dusty old skeleton, I suppose. I'd hoped for more time to meditate, but this wasn't what I had in mind. Goodbye, my friend. You're what all in the Dominion should aspire to be. It's done, isn't it? Aurelian is sealed inside with that monster. Forgive me. Uldor couldn't be allowed to roam free. Something had to be done, and you had the strength to see what I could not. I'll ensure the Morningstone remains guarded at all times. I should make a full report so the Dominion understands the danger of Uldor's capabilities. No good comes from dwelling on the past. Aurelian lives, which means there's hope. He's a great man. A good man. I don't care how long it takes. I'll find a way to free him from that monster. Forgive me. You did so much to help a stranger. I won't forget. I can open a portal to the temple courtyard if you wish. There you go. Hurry, it won't remain open for long. <laughs> 